Welcome to a brand new podcast. And this is the Oracle 19. And my name is Greatness. For any business inquiries, you want, if you want to put your brand on this podcast, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. That's the same email if you want to make a free will offering to our PayPal account. Definitely, we can use your assistance with that to expand our podcast. So, evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. You can shop online to our baby shopping mall, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. We have a whole wide range of products from furniture, office supplies, house, uh, house accessories, perfume, cologne, just to name a few, men's, ladies, kids' clothing. Also check out www.evolutionoflondon.org that we have custom clothing, accessories, digital products from personal as well as business use. And finally check us out at www.evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E, where we have a whole wide range of soaps, lotions, DVDs, clothing as well, shipped throughout North America, so check that out also. We have different links to other affiliates, www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London. So check us out. We have, again, uh, as I said, different links to other affiliates. And we do have a Patreon channel that is not on you, uh, that we have videos that is not on YouTube. So that's Patreon dot com forward slash evolution of london there is videos as i mentioned as well as digital artwork and consulting services as well check out the company www.royalty9 international they have luxury candles 12 ounce 100 percent soy wax candles for your everyday use uh, scented as well as unscented. And now the scented is from eucalyptus, peppermint, frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood, just to name a few. And they're on social media through TikTok as well as Instagram, Royalty9 International. Any questions, concerns, you can email them at royalty9international at gmail.com. Music. Cheap Limousine, Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. He have a whole wide range of different beats. Once you go to his YouTube channel, you will see other social media, uh, his social media sites. So definitely like, subscribe, and support Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And continue to train on YouTube. Greatness 19 channel, that's our education channel to open up your third eye. We have over 420 videos on the road to 1000K. We need you guys to like, subscribe, and definitely subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach 1000K, so we're getting close. Pass it to family, friends, and foe. So definitely do that. I need you guys to push that we're not that far from 1000k so definitely work hard to make that happen do me a favor subscribe to it also uh continuing on youtube mr evolution of london that's our health and wellness channel definitely we like for your guys to like subscribe and share to that channel as well we have good great information on both of the channels so subscribe like share and pass her along. Mr. Will, he's our fitness consultant and can be yours. Uh, he's been a fix- fitness consultant for over 15 years. 
If you want to email him, email him at williesfitness99 at gmail.com. That's willies, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. And also uh, support his merch, www.wjaaccessories.org, O-R-G. There he has custom clothing, accessories, digital products as well. And also, check out Oliver Twist every Friday night, Uptown Friday night. The address is 130 King Street, London, Ontario, downtown London, Ontario. I need your guys to support and check out DJ Panthro on the ones and twos. He's uh, been in the game for a long time and giving you a wide range of old school, new school music. And he's one of the best DJs in southwestern Ontario. Uh, Starting time is every Friday nights from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. And that is downtown London, right next to the Covent Garden Market. Telephone number is 519-204-9184. Again, support the machine. It is written. Support and check out and buy from AT Repair Center. Ask for Freedom. Yes, that's his name. Freedom. He has two locations. First location is 1401. That's Ernest Avenue, Unit 15. Again, that's London, Ontario. Their telephone number at that first location is 519-204-7300. Been in the business for over 20 years. A whole wide range of products, uh, such as uh, electronics, phones, all different types of phones, iPads, iPods, and again, accessories in general. And his email at their first location is atcellphonerepair at gmail.com. That's atcellphonerepair at gmail.com. Second location is 93 Wellington Street North. Again, that's in London, Ontario. That's their wholesale location. They wholesale computers, iPods, iPads, accessories of all kinds, dealing with in the electronic world. Phones, all different types of phones, Androids, as well as iPhones and Androids, as I mentioned. Number one for parts, accessories in London, and provide security cameras and install as well. Toll-free number is 877-358-0026. And their local number is 226-503-3300. Their email at that location is atwholesaler at gmail.com. That's atwholesaler, sailor, seller, excuse me, w-h-o-l-e-s-e-l-l-e-r at gmail.com. Now, finally, the Oracle 19 podcast is on all major platforms. We're on Anchor.fm, Google, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few. So I need you guys definitely to like, subscribe, and share to the Oracle 19 podcast. Any information that I haven't mentioned in the description box that you can check also in the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast. The Greatness 19 channel and Mr. Evolution of London. And finally, www.theoracle19radio.com. Okay, well, now that we got the business aspect of things out the way, I want to talk about today's topic. And as usual, it will be triggering. You guys that know about it every week and listen to me, you already know. The ones that's first time, you will get to know. And today we're going to talk about everyone wants to see a black man beg. Yes, everyone wants to see a black man beg. And basically, this is like my part two from the topic I talked about last week. And again, listen to the previous show of last week. 
and then you will understand that. But again, why do everyone want to see the black man beg and grovel? My personal opinion. You know, he can never stand up for himself. My personal opinion. Again, as I mentioned in previous shows, he's considered the scum of the earth. Let's be for real. He's not rated as the most intelligent man. Every other group is rated above him. It is what it is. So why do people find have a need to see him subservient, feminized? Why? Even though people don't, they might deny that, but look at the entertainers. As I mentioned last week about Kyrie Irving, basketball player for the Brooklyn Nets. Black men have no freedom, really, of speech without pushback. And and also, let's be for real, you have a lot of, I'll say, coons that basically want to bash, help bash the, the black man. We are our worst enemy a lot of times. Now... My personal opinion, it's time for black men to stand up for themselves. We have to take a back seat for, from everybody, all races, including our own women. And it's time for, as I mentioned, black men to stop begging. That's why it's very important for you, black men, to have multiple options you at the job don't don't use that as your end game like you're going to retire from it have other streams of income start building if you haven't started today is the time to start putting things in motion because I don't think you should be begging people black men you you have you gotta stop that. You gotta you begging other races. You you asking for forgiveness. Please let me stay at this job. Please let me in, uh, entertain you. Please, I want you to be my woman, my man. I should say. You begging women, that's really where I'm at. You begging women to be with you. You just begging, begging, begging. And it needs to stop. If you're going to consider yourself a leader, a trendsetter, a warrior, Sometimes you just got to let the chips fall where they may. You know, people like to dumb you down. Make you a female. At the job, you have to keep your voice down. Whisper. While women outright disrespect you. Try to feminize you. Dumb you down, as I mentioned. It needs to stop. You need to get your manhood back. And that's men in general, actually, need to get their manhood back. Because as they push in this homosexuality everywhere, and again, you be what you want to be, but... Don't try to dumb me down and make me less than who I am. And especially you black men. Don't allow nobody, man, woman, or child, or system to dumb you down. 
You came on this planet Earth as a male. And hopefully you will leave this planet Earth as a male. It must stop, black man. It comes to the point, it, it comes to a point, to a point, when you're going to stop begging? When you're going to stop dumbing yourself down? Yes, I know we in the belly of the beast. You have to know how to maneuver. Meaning, you can break, you can bend, but don't break. I say it again. You can bend, but don't break. We all have to bend a little bit in this modern day society because we're not in power. But does it mean you have to totally submit on your knees? Do you allow somebody just to break you down as Tariq Nasheed said, buck break you. Buck, B-U-C-K, breaking. Buck breaking you. Like they did in slavery. See, this is not a physical war. This is a mental war. So, nowadays, people, races, your own woman is trying to break you down. The system, white supremacy, is trying to break you down mentally, making you less than who you are. And you have to sometimes chalk chalk things up to the game. Chalk chalk them up to the game. And what do I mean? Sometimes you got to walk away from situations. There's been many jobs I had to walk away from because they tried to dumb me down, buck break me, make me less than who I am. And even though I needed the money and I'm given past experiences, I had to walk away because I feel I felt it was too much for me. And especially at this stage of the game in my life, I'd rather die, me personally, than to have to submit full submission to a system of white supremacy. I'd be damned if I will be on TV, no matter how much money I have, to run around for the things I'm saying and I have to apologize and say I'm sorry I'm sorry the day you find greatness saying I'm sorry somebody close to me is at gunpoint and I have no choice we gonna kill your mom you better say I'm sorry then I'd be like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that's when you know something is definitely off. Give me that exception to the rules. But besides that, I'm tired of seeing black men just have to grovel. And I know everybody's in a situation. Everybody, you know, in a different financial situation. And, you know, I, I get it. But when it comes to a time, black man, what, wh- how much do you have to say I'm sorry for the, your religious beliefs? You got to say I'm sorry. For you saying I'm a Hebrew, you got to say I'm sorry. For you saying I'm the original man on this earth, you got to say I'm sorry. You got to be sorry for your woman. She got to be the head and you have to be the ass. And you got to be, you got to say sorry to her and work and worship her. Black man, when does it end? 
how much do you have to endure? How much you have to be sorry for? You always have to say, I'm sorry to everybody. You got to say sorry to the kids. For what? You can't talk loud to your children. You can't discipline them. You got to, if you do, you got to beg the government, I'm sorry for disciplining my children. You can't even talk loud in your own house. You got to be sorry to the next door neighbor. You got to be sorry to the po local police if you talk loud, quote unquote, disturbing the peace. Black man, when, when does this end? How far we need to submit? We got to submit to dogs. If we, quote unquote, mistreat a dog in other people's opinion. We got to go to the judge and beg for forgiveness, a.k.a. Michael Vick. The dog have more rights than we do. And we got to keep begging everybody for forgiveness. And people still not happy. When does this end? How far do we have to submit and grovel, black men? I'm tired of it. You can't talk loud in public. You can't be who you want to be, black man. Everybody's trying to make you a girl, a female, on TV, commercials. You got to sub totally submit to your woman. She's the head. She don't respect you as a whole. You got to submit to everybody. What are you getting, black man? Pain and misery. Suffering in silence. How far this is going to go? For me, I don't give a goddamn tell you the truth no more. I'm just... It be what it be. You come after me, it's what it is. I don't care anymore. It seems like the only thing is consistent... As people used to say, it's death and taxes. You don't pay taxes. Boy, one thing's consistent, you die. That's one thing consistent. So what? It'd probably be better to be dead than be alive on this stinking earth. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not wishing to die. I got a lot to live for. You know, I want y'all guys to start tripping. Great, just want to die. He just want to die. He, makes, he wants to give up. No, I'm a warrior. While I'm, while I'm on this planet Earth, I'm going to be fighting, mental fighting, physical if I have to, in the name of self-defense, until I die. I'll be that old man, 80 years old, 90 years old, swinging for the fences if I have to. My last breath, I go out in the blaze of glory if I have to. But I'm not going to submit myself to the bare knuckles. It got to stop. No more. You put on this planet Earth for what? To grovel, submit? The only being you're supposed, you're supposed to submit is the Lord himself, if you're religious. I know you people in the audience, a lot of you is not religious, so you wouldn't really understand what I'm talking about. Like I said, this information is built for the few, not the many. And again, I'm not trying to change you. Don't care. I don't give a flying F. If you like it, don't like it, if it matters to you, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just spitting some 
some hot mathematics for the just a few. So it don't really matter. But the begging got to stop. Black man, especially you. And you men in general, I throw that little caveat for you too. You you being dumbed down as well. The average man out here. But black men, how far are we going to go with this? Everyone wants to see a black man beg. People feel comfortable when a black man saying, I'm sorry. Everybody feels comfortable just to see a black man say uh, he's sorry. You got to see counseling. Don't forget that. After he, he begs, he needs counseling. He needs psychiatrists. He needs some type of help. Because he could be a little too dominant. Too a little bit forthwith with his mouth. This got to stop. You got nothing to lose anyway, black man. What? You think you're going to be at your job forever? You want want society to really like you? Guess what? They can't stand you. Nobody likes you. We're not talking about individual race of people. Okay? This is for my different races here. We're not talking about you particularly. Okay, so don't get in your feelings. This is not geared to you. We're talking about a system, a white, a white systematic white supremacy, a system. Talking about the masses. We're not talking about individuals like you. You meaning other races. So get that in your brain. Don't start getting sensitive saying, what do you think you're talking about me? If you're getting sensitive of you, you might be the problem. But this is not for you, individuals of other races. Again, this is a system, a systematic white supremacy. We got to beg everybody just to fit into this world. You're not respected, black man. Get that in your head. You're not respected, and you will never be respected. You have to take and demand your respect, and that is dealing with yourself and progressing. Progressing as an individual, being the best you can be. That's how you're going to make it. It's sad but true. Sad but true. You need to deal with that reality. I cannot stress that any harder. I really can't. For me, again... We, we have two different points. I'm not saying I'm a superman or whatever, a tough guy, whatever. But it just reaches a point. It reaches a point that you are, you get tired. And a lot of you black men are mentally tired. You're tired of the nonsense that you got to go through in your daily life. How you were treated. You always got to be on guard when you walk out your house. You mentally got you being disrespected on every level mentally at the job in society everywhere you go by your own people by your own woman other races you just constantly being disrespected and the little freedom little things that you could put out to the world you gotta dumb yourself down and apologize for things that could be said and here you can go 
Check out footage in 1993 on the Howard Stern show where he made, he had blackface and had uh, Sherman Hemsley from the Jeffersons playing as Whoopi Goldberg. And he's out there saying all different types of derogatory things in the name of humor about black people. Throwing the N-word, wearing blackface, uh, making, you know, just all different types of wild comments about, you know, black people in the name of comedy, of course. And he's a Jew, so-called Jew, that did not get reprimanded. And still, this man is worth millions and millions of dollars to this point in real time. And you got white people, so-called Jews, within... And I say so-called because it's been always debated they're not the original Jews. I'm not going to get into that. But I'm just saying I just say so-called. But needless to say, Jewish community that could say a lot of wild things about black, oh, just in general, not even the, the Jews, but white people could say all different types of wild things. And they don't have to, they're not reprimanded like how a black man would be rep, reprimanded. They don't have to go through all the counseling and see. I remember it was a story about Don, Don Imus, who was a radio jock of uh, back on uh, New York Radio, Sports Radio 66 WFAN. And he, he called black, he made a comment about the, I believe, the Rutgers basketball team nappy-headed holes and yeah he yeah he was reprimanded a little bit but the man was still able to work still able to make his millions and that's that's just one of thousands of examples over the of, of the years you have White owners from basketball, baseball teams that made wild comments over the course of years. Yeah, certain things they had to be reprimanded because of the climate of the time. It just got so hot and heavy. But it's not, it's different from a, what a black man have to go through. And you cannot deny that. I know other races are not going to understand it. They're not going to admit to it. And this is not for them. And I know most white people is not going to admit to it and they don't want to say it. And it's not meant for them neither. But this is for you, black men, to understand. You. And I'm tired of have to say I'm sorry for the things I say. Because there's two laws. There's black law and white. And white people can get away with much more than black people can. That is fact. You cannot deny it. There's case studies, case law over that for decades, centuries in, on, this, in, on this soil you call North America. But we got to continue, black men, to keep begging, keep submitting, dumb, our, dumb ourselves down, always apologize. We just got to apologize for existing. We can't say anything. We just got to always say, I'm sorry. Beg for forgiveness. Well, I'm tired of it. We got to constantly beg. It comes to a time, it comes to a point where the begging got to stop. And the most powerful thing you have black man with eliminating a lot of things is you can walk away sometimes you have to walk away and give up some things that is great I mean it's, 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 it's great I mean it, you're taking a huge L and I get it but sometimes it's necessary what do I mean Sometimes you got to take a huge L to walk away from your family. Sometimes you got to take an L to walk away from your wife or your significant other. 
Sometimes you gotta take, make, uh, you gotta take an L and walk away from your children. Sometimes you gotta walk away and take an L from your job. Sometimes you gotta walk away and relocate to a different location, etc. Sometimes you gotta just take a stand and push things aside and say, I'm not gonna deal with the nonsense anymore. And I'm not begging. And I'm not gonna submit like a dog. It comes to that point. Sometimes you gotta know it's over. Enough. And that's what I say. Enough. I don't know how you feel about this. But this is something for you to think about. Seriously think about this. Some of you women out here, if you are if you about this information, pass it to a black man that you feel that will need this information. If you're not about this, because unfortunately, a lot of women out here in general. Now I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna expand on this. A lot of women out here do not rate men anyway. So they're gonna feel they they gonna feel this is not important anyway. Let alone a black man. Forget that. Most women out here can't even name probably. Can you count at least five men in your life that you probably highly respect? Five. Just give five. On your hand. Five. Most women cannot, that you truly respect. Most women out here barely can name one. If you lucky, maybe two. And I forget in our I forget the forget our community, unfortunately. I'm not even going to touch that. But, black man, how long are you going to be begging? How long are you going to be submitting? Are you going to be 50, 60, 70 years old and still submitting and dumbing yourself down? Do you have... Do you have any fight in you left? Do you? Talk to me. Are you just finished? Are you just going to roll over and just... Just die? I'm letting you marinate on that. I'm going to let you really, you need to really marinate on that. You really need to think about your life in general. Figure out your situation. Is the people around you, is your woman around you down for you? When really hits the fan, take a hard look. In conclusion, black man. Take a hard look of your woman that you're around now. And really think about it. Use your third eye. If things really get real in the, in the field, would she, turn, would she turn on you? Would she be that informant? <laughs> would she, is she, if you go down, illness? Will she really be right there? Can you guarantee that she's going to really be there for you? Think on that. Can you really depend on your job? Is it guaranteed? Are you positioning yourself in your neighborhood? Are you surrounded by foe? 
or enemies. Start thinking about your surroundings. Start thinking about the people around you. Think about your family members. Are they really down for you? Or they just want to see you fall? Do they really care about you? Or they have perfect hate for you? Is your children really down for you? Or be there when you get old? Are they just waiting for you just to croak and die? Black man, think about your situation. And again, stop begging. It's over. Thank you for listening.